What if I told you there's a structure in the universe so massive it stretches over a billion light years across? And to put that in perspective, the Milky Way is only about 125,000 light years across. And what if this structure forms a nearly perfect ring with galaxies and gas clustered together in a pattern that's just baffling? This is the Big Ring, and it's one of the most puzzling discoveries out there. It might be pointing us toward some of the biggest mysteries of the cosmos. But how could something so vast form in the first place? What forces could possibly shape a structure like this? The Big Ring is a mind-bogglingly huge structure sitting at a red shift of z equals 0 0.8, which is kind of a means of measuring how far away it is in the z-axis. This is Earth. Now, we have some stars and stuff right here, like those black dots. At a certain point, things start going red. Well, they become more red because the light is, is being stretched out. The more red shifted something is, the closer it is to the edge of the universe. So think of it like that. However, the more, the more important aspect here is that this big ring structure, if you look at the red shift as uh, the z-axis from our perspective, Okay, so our perspective is like that, and the z-axis is, you know, here. Then this ring is at the z-axis, making it, I like, literally like a ring in the sky, which is kind of weird. What does this mean? It means we're seeing it as it was 6 billion years ago, and it's massive, as we've said before, 1.3 billion light years across. We found this structure through something called MG2 uh, absorbers, which are basically gas-filled clouds filled with ionized magnesium. These clouds sit between us and distant quasars, and as light from the quasars passes through, the gas leaves little fingerprints in the light, tiny absorption lines that tell us where the gas is. And using this data, astronomers piece together this massive ring of galaxies and gas. But here's the kicker. It's not just the big ring out there, just 20 degrees away, in the sky is the giant arc. Another thing, the fact that these two are so close together makes you wonder if they're part of something even bigger. Now, here's where things get even weirder. Both of these structures sit at the same redshift, meaning they're at pretty much the same distance from us. From our perspective, they're both on the same z-axis, so it's like looking at different parts of a huge cosmic web formed billions of years ago. And what could possibly have shaped this? One theory, cosmic strings. About to get your mind blown. Cosmic strings are basically one-dimensional cracks in space-time that formed in the early universe. Picture this. When water freezes, sometimes cracks form in the ice, right? Those cracks appear because the freezing isn't perfectly uniform. Cosmic strings are similar. They're thought to have formed when the universe cooled down after the Big Bang, leaving behind these long, incredibly thin defects in space-time. They could stretch across the universe, but they're also so thin that detecting them directly would be next to impossible. In essence, one-dimensional. Even though they're thin, cosmic strings still could have an impact on our universe. Over time, their subtle gravitational pull could have attracted matter, galaxies, gas clouds, dark matter, all coming together to form large structures like the Big Ring. Just like how cracks in ice can direct where the ice will break next, cosmic strings could have influence where galaxies and clusters formed billions of years ago. Now, cosmic strings are tricky. They are thinner than a proton, so we can't see them directly, but their presence might show up in other ways. For instance, their influence could pop up in gravity wave data or in how massive objects like black holes behave when they interact with these strings. There's a lot we still don't know. So what does this mean for the Big Ring? Well, it's possible that both the Big Ring and the Giant Arc are evidence of cosmic strings at work. The discovery of the Big Ring raises some huge questions. Could this be shaped by cosmic strings? Are there even more of these massive patterns hiding across the universe waiting to be found? With new technology and better data, we may one day understand what is really playing a role in shaping these massive structures, and it could totally change how we think about the universe. It might give us a direct connection to the very first moments after the Big Bang.